today I want to talk about fighting your demons. And so what that means to me is nothing to do with religion or anything like that. Um, it's more of a metaphor. And the idea is that we all have different vices, you know. Virtually everyone is dealing with demons. I think what's important is, first of all, you have to address and acknowledge the fact that you have demons that you're fighting, either on a daily or weekly basis. And then what I think is important is you want to tie in that negative behavior. You want to tie it in with some kind of positive behavior as well. So what do I mean by that? So let's take me for example. One of my main vices really is it's very easy for me to be drawn towards video games. Now, thankfully, I don't play video games that, that often. And I had a much more difficult time with this when I was younger. But what I do these days is I structure my week and I go, okay, here are all the productive things I need to get done this week. Uh, you know, business related, practice related, house related, um, relationship related, et cetera, et cetera. These are the things that I'm going to spend my time and attention on. And then let's see what remaining bits of time where I have some leisure time and downtime where I can plug in some games of some sort, whether it's video games or maybe board games. And if I tie it in that way and I kind of plan around it, number one, I'm able to keep that demon in check, right? In small doses, it's perfectly fine. But you have to make sure it doesn't take control of your life. And again, that goes for gambling, uh, junk food, smoking, drinking, whatever it is, you got to find a way to keep it in check. I'll use nutrition as an example. If your nutrition is like 80 to 95% clean, you're doing good. As far as nutrition goes, you're doing good. If you're at 95%, should you be striving for 100% nutrition quality? I would say probably not. Because the closer you try to get to 100% of something, it takes up so much more of your attention and bandwidth and energy. The reward for that last few percent is gonna be negligible. So why are you gonna bother with that, right? Is the goal of life to live a perfect life? I would say not exactly, no. But if you could operate at like 80 to 95% in every important area of your life, then you must have a happy and fruitful life. And that's the goal, in my opinion, that's the goal. By me structuring in when I can play games and when I will not bother with games, number one, it keeps that demon in check. Number two, it makes the actual activity of engaging in that vice more enjoyable. Because then when I'm involved with that, if I'm playing a game, I don't have to feel like in the background that I should feel guilty for playing the game or that I have some kind of negative feeling associated with the game. I'd rather just enjoy it fully and keep it in small doses rather than have a mixture of positive and negative feelings when I'm playing the game. Because if that's the case, then what's the point? It'd be the same as if you're eating poorly and you're like, ah, oh, you know, fuck, I shouldn't be eating like this, but I'm compelled to eat like this. You're getting like the pleasure of the food but you're also getting the mental anguish at the same time, simultaneously. And that doesn't make for a very enjoyable experience. It, it kind of ruins that experience. So if on the other hand, you've been eating really clean for a long time and you're seeing results from that and you're happy with that. And then at some point you're like, you know, I'm gonna have a release valve. I've planned in ahead of time that I'm gonna have some food that isn't necessarily good for me physically, but I'm going to enjoy it and it's going to inspire me to keep eating better and better. If you've done that work up to that point, then you're going to feel like it's a reward and the whole experience of enjoying that cheat meal is going to be far more enjoyable. Hopefully this sheds a bit of light on, you know, fighting your demons. For me, fighting my demons is something that I deal with on a weekly basis. Now I keep it in check very well, but it's not, it's not a walk in the park. Essentially we all have our demons and I think there are a few key steps to identifying, to dealing with those demons. If there, are, if there are specific demons that you're dealing with, certain kinds of addictions that you feel like you're dealing with or that you're just curious about in particular, then leave it as a comment in the video or go to the website and you can just, like I always mention, you can go to the contact form page and you can just shoot me an email. And if you have any kind of question, either a personal question that I won't answer in a video or a question that you 
notify me that you want me to just talk about it and put it in as a video, then you can go to the website to do that too. In fact, I would say that's probably the best thing to do. Leave a comment if you want and I wanna keep making more videos. So, talk to you soon.